Hey guys, uh, just going to make a quick video here and show you guys how to jack up your car. Uh, this vehicle is a 2012 Civic LX. Um, this is going to be very similar for most Hondas, in fact most cars in general. Uh, but again, the specific car is a 2012 Civic. Uh, the chassis design should be the same for any Civic uh, 2006 model year and up. Uh, right now it's year 2015 and it remains the same. So uh, pretty easy to get the car off the ground. Um, all you'll need is just a floor jack like the one I have here. Uh, otherwise you can use the bottle jack that's in the trunk of your car underneath uh, the lining. Um, today I'm going to show you how to jack up the entire front and the rear of the car. Um, and also I'll show you quickly just the jack points like if you're on the side of the road and uh, needed to change your tire for example. So uh, let's say you had a flat tire on the side of the road and you only need to get up one corner of the car. You would use your bottle jack. Uh, again that's the one that's going to be inside the trunk uh, of your car. And where you would want to put that bottle jack is on something called a pinch weld, which is underneath all four corners of the vehicle. You can see it here. There's one piece that comes down farther than the rest of the, uh, I don't know if you should really call this the frame, but it comes down farther than the rest of the, the sheet metal or the metal down here. Uh, that's called a pinch weld. It's very strong. And you would just put your jack right here uh, so that the top is touching this pinch weld and then jack the car up. Uh, that's the only safe place to put it. If you were to put it here or over here uh, or on this thinner part, it's going to bend that uh, and, and damage your car. Uh, again, all four corners of the car will have this. I'll go to the driver's side uh, rear and you'll see that it is exactly the same. There's another piece here that comes down further than the rest and it's double the thickness, probably more than double the thickness. Uh, so again, if you only needed to get up the one tire uh, to change it, for example, you would only need to uh, use your little bottle jack or a floor jack and use that pinch, pinch weld. Now, if you need to get the whole front end or the whole rear of the vehicle or the whole car uh, off the ground, the first thing you want to do is put on your parking brake. I think everyone knows how to do this. But you'll want to get this nice and tight. So when you jack the car up, the rear wheels aren't slipping and same thing if you leave your car the front end elevated you want the parking brake on so it doesn't slip. Next thing you want to do is pop the hood, which on this car is the lever with the hood on it, pretty easy. Give that a pull. And on this car there's a hood latch basically right above you know, the, the large Honda emblem here. Um, it's actually right, right here. So just to the left of center. So you have to push up on that, push up on the lever, and lift. And the uh, hood holder, the prop, is right here in the front. I'm going to try to do this with, with one hand here. Pull that up, and then there is a hole in the hood that's designed to hold that. Okay, so the next step, I'm going to have to get my, my light here, is to find the jack point of the car. Usually it's of course going to be close to the center of the vehicle and luckily on Hondas they have a uh, arrow that indicates where it is. So if we look way down and even with this, it's probably going to be difficult to see. Um, there it is. You can see the arrow there on that piece of plastic. Now, you don't want to put the jack underneath the arrow, but where the arrow is pointing. So you can see kind of, well, hopefully you can see. Again, this is difficult to get this lined up where we need to put. There's a large metal, what looks like a bar, kind of like a round bar. And that's a piece of the frame, and that's where you actually want to put the jack. So now I'll take you down to the underneath, underside of the car, and that same arrow that we saw is also under here. And since I have no clearance, we're probably not going to be able to see the arrow. Just adjust to see if we can get this guy under here. So you can see here, I'm not sure if I have a good enough angle, but the other arrow is here and right behind it is where you want to put the jack. 
right here. It's very big. Now down here, it's not it's not circular like it looks like it was above. It's more of a flat rectangular piece, but that's where the jack needs to go. So the arrow points there, and this arrow is the same as the one up on top. So it's actually easier to feed the jack from the top. So here we are again, and again it's, it's, it's going to be hard to see this arrow, but you can push the jack through. And we can see the arrow again, and now you can see my jack coming through. I'll move it back and forth a few times so you can kind of see where it is. But again, just right in front of where that arrow is, make sure you're roughly centered with the car, and then jack the jack up slowly. Once you make contact with the frame, the car will start to move, of course. And then you'll just want to get a closer look and make sure that the jack is indeed where, where we wanted it, right near that arrow on the frame. So once you've made contact and you're sure that the vehicle is stable, that you have the jack in the right position, you just continue to jack the car. I'm going to be doing an oil change, tire rotation, transmission drain and fill, and a few other things. So I'm going to get the car pretty high. In fact, probably as high as this jack will go. And next I'll show you how to uh, jack up the rear of the car as well. Okay, so you can see the uh, car is jacked up. Uh, as high as the jack will take us. And then what you need to do once you, you still have the jack underneath the front, what you need to do for safety is put a jack stand underneath that pinch weld I showed you earlier. Right now I'm at the front uh, passenger side of the car. Put it underneath the pinch weld, raise it to the highest position, and then do the same thing on the other side of the car. Okay, so once you have the jack stands on both sides of the car underneath the pinch weld, like I just showed you, uh, you can lower the car onto the jack stands and relieve the jack. Never leave the car uh, propped only by the jack. These are hydraulic lifts, and if they fail, they'll crush you. That's the reasons for the jack stands. And that came out significantly faster than I thought. <laughs> You're going to want to lower the jack slowly onto the jack stands to avoid damage. Again, that was a little, a little faster than I anticipated. Okay, now we're at the back of the car. We're gonna do the same thing, but just for the, the, the rear. Uh, so if we go under the car again, this one's a little bit different. The rear is much lighter, which is good, makes it easier to lift. Um, and right here we have the tow hook, so if you were in the ditch or something and the tow truck needed to, to get you out, they would hook it up right here, which obviously means it's very strong. Uh, so in this case, what we're actually gonna do is put the jack right on the tow hook and raise the car. got the car nice and high. We're going to do the same thing we did in the front, put the jack stands under the rear pinch wells and then lower the vehicle. Uh, and that's all there is to it. So uh, after this, or to get it back down, you would just jack up the front of the car first, remove your jack stands, lower the front of the car, raise the rear of the car with the jack, remove the jack stands, and then bring the car back down and release the handbrake. Thanks for watching. Um, I'll have some other videos on different uh, maintenance techniques for this car as well as some others. Thanks for watching.